Hey guys, and we are back with another episode of Living Alone in The Sims 4. Now, like I said in the comments of the last one, right at the end of the episode, this completely froze on me and I lost everything. So I have rebuilt this house as accurate as I could from memory. Um, I have tweaked the living room a bit, and I much prefer how it's laid out now. Um, and it is a bit bare, but we are very, very low on simoleons, so we actually need to start earning stuff. Now, he is still uh, in the career of a tech guru, as he is a computer whiz, but we actually need to um, start doing some stuff. Now, one thing we have to do is play video games for four hours, but he can't actually do that because he doesn't have enough money for his own computer. So we're going to get him to travel, <coughs> excuse me, and get him to travel down to the library in town, and hopefully they will have a computer there. I'm not sure if they do in The Sims 4 in the library, but I presume they do because they did in The Sims 3. Um, and we can go down right here, and also while we're down there, that'll be an excellent opportunity for him to actually socialise with other sims. Um, so his motives are quite high at the moment, so this is probably the best time to actually be doing this. Um, and then we can worry about him crying and being all depressed afterwards in the future, um, after <laughs> uh, once we got that out of the way. So, we just need to stop shaving llamas, and we will be able to continue. And we are in. So we need to try and claim a computer if there are any. Yes, there are. And there is none spare because there are people on it. Uh, play The Sims Forever. So we need to get this guy off of the computer. It'd be nice if they would get off of it for me. There we go. Um, they were kind enough just to get off and do whatever else they're doing. And I think my Sim's a bit bipolar today because he just keeps going between all sorts of emotions. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, even the postman's taking a break. Lucas taking a little break down here, browsing some forums. Don't blame him. You know, need a little break once in a while. Oh, there was a computer there anyway. Did not notice them. Not going to lie. Thought it was all chessboards. So I'm just going to fast forward this to allow him to play the game and do whatever it is he's doing. So Dan is good. Good Sims are happy when they're around when others around them are happy. Ah, <clears throat> oh, that's okay then. And I still can't get over just how um like busy community lots are. So let's just quickly have a look here. So you've got several sims in here. You've probably got more in here than you'd ever get in a in a late night bar or something. And you've got several sims in the street, some over here, some over there. So this is why I really enjoy the loading screens in this game. So yes, they can become irritating, but look at how much more vibrant the neighbourhood is as a result. So it's probably worth it, I think, in the long run. Just because, and I, I will say it again and again because I'm amazed, and look at that, the curtains are moving. It's just the small details that I really like um, about this. So hurry up. Come on. Early time, surely. Oh, you've only been doing it for two hours. And you're level two in the video gaming uh, skill. So you can actually now discuss game strategy with other sims. That may not be the best uh, pickup lines to do, um, but why not? Hurry up, you're, take, you're taking too long. Seems to be that fast forward's actually going by really slowly for some reason. Usually it uh, speeds by, but it keeps going like... like it's like Sims 3 that speeds going. It's going a lot slower than normal. But we're almost there anyway, so that's okay. Um, so how long are you planning to play this Sims forever then? Um, hopefully until you're done, to be honest. Though. Ah, you're done. There we go. There we are. And also fulfilled his um, thing for his aspiration, because he wanted to play some computer games. Dance to stereo music. Well, this is clearly not a very good uh, self-sim, because I would never do such a thing. So let's introduce ourselves to Luca here, and see if he's interested in chatting. Hi, Luca. Did you not notice me? There we go. Come on, let's have a chat. Uh, brighten his day. And... Get to know. Because uh, he, you know, he needs some friends. He needs some people to, you know, some lads to get on with. He's actually a bookworm, so that may be why he's actually at the library as well. Uh, oh, thanks for letting me have your seat, Luca. Um, I'm not sure what it's going to be like musical... Uh, chairs here where we're going to keep changing or something, but I hope that's not the case because I don't, 
Luke that'd be a bit weird if we keep getting up and down between interactions. And Luke's actually decided to go over there, but we can still talk. Um, so that is okay, and it's still weird getting used to the fact that they can go over there and still talk and all things like that. There is Mortimer Goth as well, strutting about as groovy walk style. And Luca is actually leaving. Do not leave, Luca. Do not leave, new friend. Come back. We need to keep that. So I want to get that social need up as much as we can, just so he's a bit, uh, you know, a bit happier, I guess, um, for longer, so we don't have to tend to it as much. Um, we can discuss the latest games. Maybe he'll like that because he's a geek. Maybe. Hopefully you get excited by that. There we go, he liked a bit of that. Look at them, <laughs> look how excited they got by that. Um, there we go, do a deep con Oh, Bob, is that Bob? No. Dale Fisher. In his dressing gown. Yeah. Hmm. Discuss world peace, why not? You're inspired now as well. So what do you want to do? You want to buy a bar, you haven't got enough money, mate. Soz. Maybe if you write a book or something, you can start making, um... Write a genre book. You might start getting some money if we write it when inspired. That may make it a bit of a better book. Let's try. Uh, what can we call this children's book? Mr. Swag and the Tales of Coolness of Hashtags. So swag and hashtags is all you need now this is going to be <coughs> sorry this is going to be an international bestseller now just bear with me a second need a quick sip of tea being british and all <laughs> there we go, i thought i'd mute myself because this microphone tends to pick up like every gulp and sip and all that of the tea, so I don't think you would have appreciated that too much. Um, <clears throat> How long does it take to write this book, then? Oh, you've been here for quite a while, actually. It's already almost 6 p.m. So, I wonder if you can resume writing it once you've, uh, if you stop writing. But then you have to do it like half inspired, half uninspired. So. Maybe it's best not to do that. So now we can actually self-publish books. That's quite cool. One thing I may try and get him into, you know, is to do a bit of writing. Um, because if that brings in a bit more money than just the job, and then that may work out very well um, for us. I really hope it does work out because then we get a bit more dollar and we can splash the cash. Because I'm going to refrain as much as I can from using cheats, as tempting as it is, and then we can move them into new houses that isn't really, that are not really dodgily uh, built. <laughs> I do like one of the houses that I built on the gallery, so maybe I can move them into one of them. Or if you know any good houses, just let me know like what to search on the gallery. Or if you've got one that's really good, let me know. So he's finished an, an, writing an entire book that will be added to his inventory for future reading. You can also publish it. Okay. Um, want to go home. <coughs> Travel. Yeah. That's what we want to do. And we can get head on back to this really dodgy, horrible house that sticks out like a sore thumb in the neighbourhood, especially in the area that we've built it in, because all the houses are really fancy compared to it. Hmm. Good going, me. Oh well. Right, so first things first is self-publish your Tales of Mr. Swag. Use the toilet. And then, <coughs> we'll get you to have a garden salad. That you can only just afford. He won't make much money. That's it. Okay, so maybe next time I should self publish it and get a bit more money for it then, perhaps. Hope so. Be really hopeful on this, aren't I? Oh no, he's uncomfortable. And now he's happy. What quality is that? Looks disgusting. Okay. Ugh. I would not eat that. It looks horrible. Yeah. Bad aftertaste, I told you it was horrible. Probably to 
do with the fridge to be honest it does look like quite a dodgy fridge so you get on into bed and hopefully <clears throat> you'll sleep that away um, <laughs> I tried playing Sims 3 the other day and this overnight now look how fast that's going by on Sims 3 it was just dragging on speed 4 um, I do not miss the loading screens and uh, things like that in that game I really do not do like like appreciate the game a lot more now and I do still like the game but I much prefer this as a base um, and I'm sure as time goes on we will get much uh, more content and we won't you know I mean even pools are coming in the next few weeks so maybe we can get a little down a big pool out the back and see how many people we can drown but that sounds really mean doesn't it oh well oh well it'll be fine it's fine nothing to worry about uh, are you actually going to wash that up then sorry you can't just leave it about and hope for the best and you need to shower as well we'll get you to take a thoughtful shower maybe that will help you get inspired and you can be like a champion uh, because of your uh, uh, mood we've made four simoleons today which it will just about cover, maybe this will just about cover a meal a day um, so make sure you all buy that book because you will get a meal for little Dan here I mean who who could resist getting a meal for him no he needs a meal oh someone ring it who's ringing uh, yeah you can come and hang out sure come on over where are you I don't know when you're coming over. Just hurry up. Come watch the cooking channel. Uh, propose a crazy scheme. Make a group meal. Click on there. Cook and any multi-serving recipe. Use fresh ingredients. Ooh, that takes... Oh, no, it's fine. Um... I'd like a group serving, please. Cake. I guess cake does the job. Got that. Family size. Then we can always refrigerate that as well, actually. So if you go do your thing, hopefully your friend will come inside. There we go. And you can enjoy that. There we go. And if we call everyone to the meal. And there you go, you can snack and hopefully he'll come and sit down as well so they'll have a casual discussion. How's he feeling? He's inspired as well. Hmm. Talk about dreams. There we go. I think we're doing quite well fulfilling these things. So, because I've fulfilled that, it helps them more. Instrument and promotion. Promotion is possible. Now, let's tell a joke about Sunset Valley. Who remembers that place? Not many, I don't think. Obviously. Not like Sims 3 was only just around the corner, um, like a month ago. But that's our secret. Ooh, what happened there? Okay. That was strange. Did briefly pause there so I could quickly just save the game after the whole uh, crashy crash part last time so I don't lose too much if that does happen. Now, hurry up eating your mac and cheese, which is now actually excellent quality, probably because he's inspired. And that was actually quite good food considering you had the crab fridge. Did he just leave his plate there? He did. Great. That's rude. This will break our sink quicker as well, which will cost us money. Fantastic. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get to know you a bit more, because still don't really know you that well, do we? Oh, that's a great way to get to know each other. Okay. That's right. You do your conversation. Discuss games. You seem to get chuffed over that the other day. Good. Now I think you need to leave. It always looks... Asking to leave looks so mean in this game. You used to just be waving by. It looks like they're like 10 and they never want to see them again. And 
they're terrible people and oh that person's really sad down there, bless her. Bless. Hmm. Oh, you're all alone now. That's a shame. Right, I want to get your cooking skill up because I do not trust your cooking skill and I do not want the place to burn down because I didn't actually buy a fire alarm. Not that it actually does that much, but... Yeah, we need more money then we can get a fire prevention system that actually will extinguish anything in the event we need to do that. Now, where's the tram at? Let's look at all these fake houses back here. I really do not like these fake houses in the neighbourhood. Or how you can see the end of the neighbourhood over there. That really needs to be sorted so you can't zoom away as far. Um, yeah. Oh, you're level 3. Oh, okay. I'll trust you a bit more now then. If you're on level 3, maybe. That's not too bad. <clears throat> no, we can't order stuff, can we? Drat. Hoping we would be able to, but apparently not. Um... Yeah, play a game with your phone. Or do you want to, you want to hug someone? No. I don't think there's anyone for you to hug, mate. Your friend's not here. That's right, just... Put on a show for the audience. Uh, of course we have more mac and cheese for you to eat right now. Um, so I actually say... Okay, I'll probably do group meals more often then, because that saves cooking again later. Hopefully that'll still be... Um, edible. What's the word I'm looking for? Edible in the morning. That's what I meant to say. Now, is there anything going on down at the park? Anybody down here? Not really, no. Um, yeah, go down here, I guess. See if there's anything worth checking out. You might bump into someone, you know. Maybe you can play as the sea monster. Mind you though, if someone random just went over to these kids, you know, if I was on the kids and someone went and started waving their arms in front of the ship who we didn't know, I'd be quite scared. So maybe that's not the best thing for him to do, to be staring like that at the children. Um, <laughs> that's all harmless, it's fine. That means he's becoming friends with them, I guess. Yay! That's always handy if you talk about people to parties, I guess. He's really good friends with them already. Wow. Okay. That's one way to do it, I guess. Hello, Mortimer. <laughs> Come on. Right. Oh, you want some coffee, do you? Oh, yeah, I really like coffee, too. Don't like coffee. Ooh. He's playful. Oh, that's the child. That's a group conversation. Okay. And he's gone. So I think it's actually time he goes to bed. Don't know why the kids are still out. Come on. Time to head back. Bedtime. Get in there. Come on. That's right. You've got work soon. What day is it? There you go, you've got work in 12 hours, so you need to get your rest. And on that note, I'm going to wrap up this episode, and we will see what happens on his first day at work in episode 3. Thanks for watching, everyone.